Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Mo, and we are back with a little bit of story time. All you guys loved the story uh, from high school where I ran from the cops, if you will. Uh, whatever it was, it was funny. Got a lot of likes on it, guys. Again, if y'all do enjoy this story, make sure that y'all hit that like button, and we'll keep doing these because these are fun for me. Like, uh, I don't know, it's, just, it's fun reminiscing and thinking back to some stuff, even though today's story is pretty intense. And somebody very easily could have died because of uh, drinking and driving. So, drinking and driving, very dumb, very, very stupid. Um, if you're underage, you shouldn't be drinking anyways. So, here's the story from when I went to Western Carolina University in North Carolina. Uh, so, I was a freshman in college at this point. And uh, obviously, it's in the middle of the mountains, Western Carolina is. So, I was up in a mountain house. Uh, I was just hanging out, and uh, I could walk to the house from my dorm. So um, we were at one house just hanging out. This guy had like a, a baby squirrel. I don't know why, but he had a baby squirrel with him. And it was like in his pocket, and it like hung out. I was like, what? <laughs> How do you have a baby squirrel? I wanted the baby squirrel pretty badly. But um, there were some cool guys. But down the road, uh, so we were like hanging out, playing guitar, chilling, all that kind of stuff. And uh, down the road, there was a party going on. And uh, it was pretty loud. I could hear people uh, being dumb, all this kind of stuff. And we were, like I said, up in the mountain, so it was super hilly. And we were just sitting out on the porch, hanging out. And um, everyone was inside except for me and my buddy. And this guy from the party down the road uh, reverses back this dirt road going really fast. Like, he's, he's flying backwards. So he's going reverse uh, he'd clearly been drinking, which was super dumb, and, uh, so he flies by, his music's really loud, vroom, and I look over, and I'm just, like, watching him, I'm like, uh, that guy's serious? Like, <laughs> he clearly shouldn't be driving, um, and then all of a sudden, I hear a huge crash, and I'm like, okay, that guy just passed by about 10 seconds ago, so that crash probably has to deal with him. So I run off the porch, I sprint up the road, I don't see anything, uh, and then I look down where the road, there wasn't like a guardrail going along the road or anything, I look down over it, and he had backed off of this cliff, if you will, that was like 20 feet high, and the car was laying on its hood, and the wheels were spinning, and it was just laying upside down. And I was like, I didn't even know what to do. I freaked out. I ran back to the house. I was like, guys, we got to go help this guy. His car just flipped over. Like, he could be dead. I didn't even check because I didn't have time. I had to go get people to help me. Um, so we ran back, or I ran back. I got them to help me. We ran back over to the car, and the guy's in there, and he's his neck is like this. Like, his neck is almost like a right angle on the ground in the car because he'd fallen on the hood, and he was just sitting there like this passed out uh and we get there we start yelling at him he kind of wakes up and we tell him not to move obviously because he could snap his neck at any moment and uh so what we try and do is flip the car <laughs> he was in a jeep uh like a jeep uh grand cherokee it wasn't a wrangler it was a jeep grand cherokee and so we get on his side of the car to take the pressure off of his neck and me and like six other guys, I'm not even kidding you, we flip his car over, we flip it over, and uh, like push it up, like all of us had some crazy adrenaline, we pick the car up, flip it over, and it lands, and we like talk to the guy, and he clearly had way too much to drink, super, super stupid of him to be driving, it almost killed him, it almost killed him, uh, and so uh, one of his buddies comes up from the house, he's like, Man, what were you doing? Like, you're so stupid, all this kind of stuff. And the guy's like, I'm fine, I'm fine. Just don't call the police. And we're like, are you kidding me? Of course we're going to call the police. You probably have, like, a fractured neck or something. <laughs> There's probably something severely wrong with your body because you just rolled off of, like, a 20-foot cliff. Like, guys, we couldn't even climb down. We had to run down the road to where the cliff ended and then run back up to where his jeep was um so uh eventually the guy they just leave we we let him go with his friend and then we just hang out and the rest of the night we're like <laughs> i cannot believe that that just happened um so that was a pretty ridiculous story i never saw the guy again i didn't know who he was just some stranger but uh we honestly probably saved his life if i hadn't heard that crash 
he would have been there all night because it was like in the darkness. He was like off of a cliff in the darkness in like a field somewhere. The darkness. Darkness. <laughs> and so that's just a crazy story from my first semester uh, at Western Carolina, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed that, that was more of an intense story. It wasn't really funny. Uh, I mean, parts of it are kind of funny, like the squirrel and then him being dumb enough to back up the driveway, but very, very serious stuff. But if y'all enjoyed that story of a crazy night where I, I pretty much saved somebody's life and we flipped a car, like superhuman strength. If y'all enjoyed it, leave a like on the video, guys. Uh, the next video, I'll try and tell some of my most embarrassing moments. Um, let's see if we can get like, I don't know, four or five likes on this video. If we do, then we'll go ahead and do another video with some embarrassing moments in it. You guys should like that. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this one. I hope that y'all enjoyed. And as always, make sure you keep calm and you clash on for me, right? I'll see you guys later. Peace.